Welcome back to Prey. It's time to go to the lobby, but before that, I just want to admire the incredible beauty of this game. Look at this. Just in the middle of this hatch, you can see there's a faint, like, machining circles. You can see, like, a leftover artifact from the, from the manufacturing of this great hunk of metal. Seriously, this game's really good looking. Anyway, let's go. first real view of the world? Ooh. It's a strange pose to be stuck in, isn't it? I mean, when it sucks out all of your liquids, it leaves you with extreme, like, rigor mortis or something. or in space. Oh, it does restore a little bit of hit points when you drink. One hit point each time. Oh look, I'm dual wielding these water fountains. 99 hit points, I'll take it. Hmm. Human resources is blocked. Ah, but if you had leverage 3, I guess you could unblock it. your map. There's a video you need to see. I know you have a lot of questions. Anxiety to schedule an appointment in the trauma center. Can't tell if I'm hearing mimics or just music cues. Uh, it's just the music. Such a cute little tiny box. Attention, station leadership has issued an alert. All personnel should report to muster stations immediately and await further instructions. Headphones of the future are cordless. Ooh, wow. Got that one just in time, huh? How many more are in here? I almost want to just disable the music just so I can hear their skittering and be able to identify them better. But the music's really good.
Christ, I'm almost dead. Are there more? I'm just gonna hit everything here. Alright, I think we're good. I don't think I have any... Oh, I've got one met back. Good. Now, what's that symbol? Video file. Oh, that's my objective, I guess. Hmm. I'd like to get in there. Oh, another med pack. Good. Could I catch that on fire somehow? Maybe with the disruptor gun? Wasn't expecting it to be blue, but yeah, that works. Okay. And then you're supposed to be able to put out fire with this thing, right? Haha, <laughs> so cool. But now can I catch it on fire again. Oh, you can. Okay. Good. Good to know. might be mimics. What was the mimics? Was it the other rolls of toilet paper? I don't even know it transformed. Excerpt from article Stairways to Heaven, Dr. Angelina M. Allen. Early United States dominance of the first operational space elevator, the White Stork Tower, has allowed them to control almost all orbital activities and commerce. Now the rest of the world is playing catch-up. The World Union of Space Industry has calculated that using the Stork facility to aid in construction of a second space elevator would result in construction costs that are one quarter of the original. Understandably, US officials have balked at the idea of helping competitors build a cheaper platform that could give them a competitive advantage. Stork representatives maintain that the sizable investment risks for the original platform justify the protection of this economic space. In the meantime, Wusi has aggressively moved to purchase ideal sites for future space elevators. Essentially, space age squatting. Oh. 
I didn't know you could actually break those things, too. Cool. Lemon peel? I'm sorry, did someone just eat a raw lemon? What the hell? I hear something. Oh shit. Turrets. Huh. Why are they gonna shoot me? dish sample. I don't know if I should be touching that. Shit, I just saw a big one. Big, big one. Oh boy. Oh, uh, reload quickly! Oh, Christ. Parts, corroded coil. Man, I'm almost dead. Do I have any food? Uh, I think that's it. Yeah, I'm up to 49. <laughs> Alright. Neuromod. Good morning, Talos. Warning. What the hell Your is that noise that said? Administrative controls on workstations or keypads may result in electric shock. If you're having trouble accessing, I don't know if you heard that noise, but I just heard like a constant squealing noise as if somebody was like, you know, trying to accelerate too fast in their car, but for like a constant five or ten seconds. What the hell? Testing a system. Please send a help alert to security. Someone doing donuts? I don't know. Anyway, let's spin this neuro mod. As much as it pains me, based on what's happening, I think I should spend it on the medkit thing. Yeah, increases the effectiveness of medkits to 150%. I'm gonna do it. I really want to go with hacking, but this is important. Because I have no medkits and I'm only at half health. Unless I want to just stay at the water fountains drinking for like five minutes straight. Oh, it would have been smart to blow these up. Can I? Um, I guess I gotta shock this and then it probably would have exploded them, maybe? Oh. 
Oh my god, look at these. Look at those reflections. Gorgeous. Oh, I want to see if I could rotate the object. Oh, good opportunity to try out the new mech kit. So from 53 to 89, much better. 1963. Oh. A top-secret Cold War negotiation culminates with Americans and Soviets working together on a research facility named Kletka. Kletka, Russian for cage, produces the skeleton and core emergency systems of what will one day become Talos-1. 1964. After the attempted assassination of Kennedy and Khrushchev's departure, the U.S. pays for the rights to use Kletka as a testing facility. This period, known as Project Axiom, leads to many advancements in next-generation materials and bioscience fundamental to neural modification. 1980 to 1994. Geopolitical developments result in a temporary hold on Project Axiom. After the unfortunate Pobeg incident, in which two research scientists lose their lives, the Kletka facility is decommissioned and cleaned. 2025. The Transtar Board of Directors is established. Transtar purchases and privatizes the Kletka facility with a focus on safety and state-of-the-art upgrades. 2030. Talos-1 becomes fully operational, representing a monument of private space industry. The first Neuromod is released, allowing for dramatic enhancement to the human mind and body. No thanks. Oh. Oh. Christ! Oh! I can't believe I got through that without taking any damage. I really need ammo for the glue cannon. Gonna have to start trying to see how effective this thing is against the mimics. It said it wasn't very effective though. Let's test this thing out. Shit, was it the other one? Oh, look at that! When it transforms into something that can be picked up, it actually glows as if it can be picked up. So even the game itself tricks you. Oh, I think I got killed by the turret. I'm trying to keep track of where I've been and where I haven't. So, 
turret's not gonna shoot me, right? Let me just do a quick save. Okay, yeah. Oh! I can... I can move this thing where I want it. That could be very powerful. Oh, Christ. Get it! Get it! Get it! Nice. Center key card. Wasn't that a quest? Or no, I need a key card in the trauma center, right? Yeah, search for their corpse in the trauma center. And get their key card. code is changing every time I make a request. I'll let you know if I find a workaround. Right, so I've been all around here. Okay, so now I need to either go to the shuttle bay or go to a different floor, I think. Yep, into the restrooms. Yep, yep, yep. Verbose off. No oxygen detected beyond this point. Ooh. Need a keycard anyway. Oh, I can grab it through there. <laughs> Can I grab that? Ah, no. I should maybe consider repairing my suit. Let's see how much a uh, suit repair gives you. 25 damage to suit integrity. Well, my suit integrity isn't that bad yet, so I guess it's fine. Yeah, the suit integrity seems to go down surprisingly slowly. Don't know why. Didn't I already go this way? Yeah, locked door. Alright. Let's go up. <laughs> oh, fuck you. Oh my god. Got the key card for that trauma center. Hmm. I don't trust it. Burn it all. Track tracking bracelet. That's an item, right? Security tracking bracelet issued to all Transtar employees and volunteers. That's creepy. I'm 
not going to read logs or anything until I've cleared this place. I don't feel comfortable. Good morning, Talos. As a reminder, all personnel must complete monthly physicals during their stay aboard Talos 1. Dr. DeVries promises to make them as quick and painless as possible. Oh, 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 shit. Let's do a quick save. Shh, calm down. Calm down. Ooh, loud. those things again they probably explode um i don't know how effective stealth is like i can hide under the desk if i hide here i mean it's going to see me from oh well i can get pretty well in here but like if it was in the doorway would it be able to see me it would have line of sight but it might be okay the phantom can speak That does not work. God, oh, Christ. Wow, okay. Uh. Get. Oh, Christ, get in there. I can't get in there from this side. Shit. That went horribly. Yeah, I don't know how to blow those things up. Maybe I need an actual weapon. Oh, it's coming. It's coming. Oh. Oh. What? It sees me, I guess. Integrity damaged. Uh oh. The better condition your suit is in, the more damage it will absorb from enemy attacks and hazards. Use a. Okay, so yeah, it's armor. I don't know what it was doing, though. Like, did it see me or did it just do some other weird thing? Oh, Christ. It caught me on fire. Yes, they kind of speak, and they sound as if, as if there's like a little bit left of whatever they mimicked, you know, whatever was there before. How did I get down here before? I can't seem to, like, hide under it anymore. It even says Garfield Langley, so I guess that's who it used to be. Yeah, so they teleport all over the place. So trying to get it like on top of this flammable stuff, how would I even do that? Oh god, there's multiple! I hope that did something. Hide, hide, please. Please let me go down here. Uh. There, I slid. <laughs> uh.
Okay, I think I maybe killed one. Is there another pool of garbage to burn another one in? Like, if they can make you on fire, then I don't know if the explosion really did much, or I don't know. Maybe the explosion did something, but the fire didn't. It just seems like fire wouldn't hurt them. Creepy, but so cool. Just trying to see if there's something, some environmental thing that pops up around here that I can use. Hypo, not enough space. Whoa! How was that? Did it hear me? Okay, um... I need to dump some garbage, so probably stuff like crumpled paper. Okay, I dropped a couple things. Looks like you do it with X, as it says. X to drop. And let's eat this apple while I'm here. Get my health up a bit. Is there any more food? Uh, it doesn't look like it. Oh! A uh, slice of lemon pie. Heck yeah. Oh, these two. Alright, that should do it. So, what does the Psy Hypo do? Psychostimulate that increases the psychic potential of an individual when injected. Huh. Well, I don't have any Psy abilities yet, I guess, so... I don't think that does anything yet. What? Did I, did I just accidentally lock it? Did I just lock myself out of quarantine? Oh, fuck. At least I get to not lock myself out of that door now. I do, however, get to drop all that stuff again. Let's try again. Maybe I should just fight it. Okay, yeah, now it's locked. So I should be safe in here? Hmm. Mind controlled. It's almost a good thing I don't even know the password. <clears throat> Subject appears disoriented, paranoid. Not sure how much of current behavior is due to the incident versus his recent neuromod removals. Recommend continued observation. Oh, banana pudding. Remain two meters away from glass. I guess there's nothing to do here, huh? 
Move. It does say rem remain two meters away from glass, so if I stay super close, that might be a bad thing. But there's something written there. What does that say? Devries 7324? 7324, that's not the password, is it? 7... Oh. 3, 2, 4... Please don't, good. I'm glad it's not. Maybe I just shouldn't kill it. What if I just ignore it? I mean, well, not ignore it, but just, you know, don't go for it. There's no reason I have to, right? Three, two, four. I should probably write that down, but I don't have a piece of paper near me. Seven, three, two, four. Seven, three, two, four. All right, I'm gonna try to sneak past it. Yeah, it's just walking through the fire. Uh oh. Uh oh. going. Uh oh. Uh oh. It's alerted. Uh, I think I'm okay. Alright. I'm good. Whew. Safe little hidey hole, yes. Oh, 7324. That's Devry's right there. Get. Get. Uh, get in. Why is it so inconsistent? 724. Oh. Wait, it needs a key card? Huh. I don't think I went in that room over there. Don't look this way. Don't look this way. Don't look this way. Oh. Christ. No, I didn't go in here. Planning a vacation, somewhere from what? This is the same test. Oh. No, 
Oh, this is different. What do you see? What is it doing? I'll come back to that and see if it's done anything. Ugh. Good morning, Talos. All personnel should report to their workstations for the day. If you expect to be absent for any reason, please inform your immediate supervisor. Excerpt from a book on interrogation techniques by Dr. Avalon Bayer. The typical interrogation suspect portrayed by entertainment media is stubborn, clever, or even arrogant, entering into a verbal sparring match with the interrogating officer. While this makes for good drama, it's a poor representation of actual cases. It's important to note that the majority of suspects want to talk. Let them. Provide some prompts, but only to keep the words flowing. Do not attempt to direct them, but just keep them talking. My experience, and case studies back this, has been that most people will move towards the information you want to know if you just listen to them and reaffirm their assumptions when they need it. Uh, excerpt from a Transtar work manual, Psychological Risk. Studies show that there is a significant likelihood of behavioral conditions and psychiatric disorders emerging among the populations of crews stationed for longer than three months. Impacts of behavioral issues are minimized with appropriate tools for monitoring mood and predicting risk while including as many Earth-like amenities and recreations as possible. Oh yeah, I have a Neuromod to spend, don't I? I do. Hmm, hacking, leverage... Or one that increases my stats. Hmm. Uh, let's do hacking. I'm very grateful for the fact that you don't have to see that stab you in the eye animation every time you apply a narrow mod. Okay. And my people have been coming to you. Hey Matt, have another one of my people present a signed note from from you for fatigue. I just want to make sure it's legit. Are there a lot of people coming to you with stress-related complaints, or is it my imagination? Hmm. Yeah, so it's, it's sounding like psychological symptoms were pretty... like psychological problems were pretty common before the outbreak? Question I have, is that just because of normal things, or was some sort of infection taking place causing medical issues to slowly crop up? And making it worse. Matthias, I don't know what to tell you. You walked into an experiment without a... You walked into an experiment without a... Psycho... This sounds so close. Without a psychoscope. And it went sideways. We couldn't contain it after that. They controlled him. My suspicion is the Typhon can force other beings to empathize with them. Maybe further down the road we can find a way to reverse... Maybe further down the road we can find a way to reverse engineer this, get them to empathize with us. Please keep Mr. Young in quarantine for the time being. You have my thanks. Yeah, so they were experimenting with these things before they broke out, I guess. Oh. Please keep staff away from the quarantine area. We have a potentially contagious subject in there who is suffering from memory loss. At this time, only Dr. Cole and myself should have access. Please set the new code to 2254. Oh boy. Should I let them out? I mean, I don't know what's going to happen, but I can only imagine it'd be bad. Oh, that's what the shocker's for, right? It forces them to empathize with the, um, the 
Typhon. So, I guess they would probably fight for the Typhon and try to attack me. Hmm. My concern with Dr. Calvino is increasing. His symptoms have escalated from memory loss and occasional disorientation to delusion and paranoia. His increased agitation in this session has given me cause to take his issues up with Alex during our next debriefing session. Sarah's hostilities toward me continue unabated. This distance she creates makes it difficult for me to address her issues of anxiety and distrust. Some of her answers today did lend me a bit of insight I might be able to use in future sessions to hopefully get her to open up more. Danielle exhibits relent relentless anger towards authority generally, and the use specifically. A few gentle questions sent her on a tirade that ended with her storming out of the office. I wouldn't be surprised if she decided to skip these meetings for the rest of her tenure here on Talos. Transfer file. Evals oh. are a waste of time. A waste of time? Like back on Earth? That was different. Was it? Anger, issues with authority. A year of counseling doesn't sound like a trivial matter. Those files were supposed to be closed. Are you angry? I'm getting there. Any new relationships? No. I thought you and Miss Foy, the sanitation engineer, were seen together. She's a sanitation boss. And we're not in a relationship. Not anymore. Ah. And this separation, did it involve anger? Issues with authority? Screw this! I'm done. Report me to the U's, I don't care. They're putting the station at risk just like Transtar North and just like on Earth's side. You assholes will bury it with your psych eval bullshit. And another thing. Wow, Matthias, you... Uh, psychiatric whatever the hell he is, psychiatrist? He's utter shit. Just like textbook garbage. Problems with authority? Sarai, come in. It's Sarah, but you can call me Chief Elazar. Matt. Matthias, please. Forgive me, but your name is Sarai in the file. We've been over this. My mother Americanized it. Will we be spending the next 59 minutes like this? Because we could cut it short right now. We've discussed your mother. I thought perhaps today we could speak more about the career choices that were born of that. Serving in the military wasn't an excuse to get away from her nagging, Matt. I was just... restless. And you're better now? Not restless? I'm fine. Because your last tour of duty was the evacuation, and reports from there... I saved as many as I could. For every soldier we lost, we were able to save a hundred civilians. Yes. Tragic. Still, to lose soldiers under your command... The cost was worth it, both in lives and the unification of the region. Taking on a losing battle like that? Fighting? Not enemy troops, but the equivalent of a natural disaster. It wasn't natural, it was man-made. It prepared me for here, Dr. Cole. Because this station? It's the same thing, a disaster waiting to happen. We are well-trained and poorly equipped. <sighs> the research is dangerous. Keeping secrets secret is dangerous. I'm sure you would agree. Well, it's good to see Sarah is not putting up with Matthias's bullshit. And yeah, it sounds like this place was doing dangerous research, obviously, on these things, and I guess it was a time bomb waiting to go off. Tell me about the dream. The dream. Yes. It's, um... It's always in my lab, and, um... I'm standing in front of the glass. Are you alone? Uh, yes. What do you see in the glass? Uh, well, nothing. At first. I don't want to turn it on. But 
I can't help it. I have to turn it on. When I do, it's like the heart of a black hole, an immense darkness. There's something swimming in the black. I catch glimpses, edges of the shape. I feel as though it wants to come through onto my side. I have to turn off the glass before it sees me, but I always wake before I can. What does it look like? The shape in the glass? I, uh, nothing. Does it look like this image here? Dr. Calvino, does it look like this? No. No, no, that, that's... No, I, I don't... Uh... Are you sure? Where did you get that drawing? Have you been spying on me? I don't want to talk to you anymore. Hmm. Common image in a dream, maybe. Is it... Shit, did it hear me? Uh-oh. You know, I am sick of this thing. I'm going to see if I can take it down with the ammo that I have. Oh, shit. Yeah, I'm dead. <laughs> How was I able to take that first one down so easily? Maybe I just need to spray it a little bit more. Looks like I'm not quite freezing it. Oh, whoa. Oh, this one... This one won't freeze at all? Hmm. Yeah, I guess this one's different. Never mind, I don't think I will kill it. Lock that, and I am going to zap you immediately. Should be non-lethal. Two, two, five, four. Okay. Hopefully they stay out for good. Huh. I thought maybe they'd have something on them. Good morning, Talos. Breakfast is served in the cafeteria until 9 a.m. I don't see the point of coming in here. I mean, I, I saw this outside and it doesn't seem relevant? 7324. Maybe that's the code to... Um... Maybe inside of their office after you get the key card? That's the code to a safe. Seven three two four. Just don't know where the key card is. Bad, 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 bad. God, I want to kill you so bad. There's a computer right there I want to look at. Okay, just um, little curiosity. Okay, I was wondering if that would, like, explode when you throw it. It doesn't. Maybe if you had the heavy lifting neural mod? Possibly. Come on, move.
white noise. We're often called white noise due to the telltale spots. What is that noise? Said to be like static in the victim's eyes. White noise. Is that white noise that I'm hearing? Oh, no. Okay. Well, all these things require passwords and stuff that I just don't have, so I think I'm just gonna leave. Oh. Oh. Okay, I think what I just saw, I think I, saw, I caught a glimpse of it, like, sucking the fire out of that thing. I think that's why it's different from the rest and why it's on fire. I think it was somehow taking that energy and using it. That's why I used the glue gun on the thing to try to put it out, because I think maybe it'll go out and it won't have that fire ability anymore. But there's still no reason to go back there and kill it. Since I can't really do anything else in there, it seems. So I'm just going to leave it for now and come back there when I have, maybe, a weapon. I heard that. Thank you. Scanning target, no type of material detected. Checking for updates, servers offline. Let's just put it like here so it kind of covers the whole hallway. Eradicator Autotroid version 2.7.6. I'm just going to run around and make a lot of noise. No? The code to your office is 0451. Alright, I think we're safe. Ooh, Trump. Wait, don't I already have the drama center one? That's probably. Maybe it's not a keycard to the trauma center itself, but a keycard for somewhere in the trauma center, so maybe that's one of the keycards I need to get into Devry's office. Can I check that? I know there's a spot for keycards, right? Keys? Key cards, trauma center. Uh, maybe not. Maybe there's just multiples of the key card. I mean, it makes sense. There would be, wouldn't there? Miss Goodwin, I'm going to need more support. The volunteers are agitated, more than usual. This morning, Eleven threatened to bash my head in if I didn't let him out to stretch his legs. When you get up here, the key code is 6243, not the old number on file. I'm pretty sure they've been watching me punch that in, so I changed it. Volunteer room, okay. Uh, I relayed your... Oh, uh, to follow up on the previous request, I was wondering if there had been any updates on Gustav Leitner's visit. Is this still taking place, and if so, would it be possible to get a copy of his itinerary? Gustav Leitner, wasn't that the author of one of the articles or books that I read in the beginning apartment. 
relayed your previous request and we'll see what we can do, but there are no guarantees. The schedule for the visit is tight and may not allow for a face-to-face. -face. Hmm. Um, yep, Igor showed up quiet and polite. He shook Leitner's hand like he was afraid of breaking him, asked him to sign an album he'd brought. Leitner seemed flattered, so that was a plus. We tried to make him comfortable. His condition hasn't stopped him from craving a cigarette. Fingers were twitching. It's too bad. Such a talent. No wonder. No wonder he wanted to get scanned. Well, so it's not like he's having health issues. But he wanted to get scanned to, I guess, preserve his intelligence? His knowledge? Hmm. Beautiful. nature of consciousness remains deeply... Oh, um, yeah, I already read that. Bellamy's move notice. Please move these remaining boxes to my new office in Neuromod Div as soon as feasible. The brain was once considered too warm, wet, and noisy for seemingly delicate quantum processes. However, the discovery of quantum coherence in biological processes such as plant photosynthesis, avian navigation, and our own sense of smell paved the way for the eventual discovery of quantum vibrations inside the microtubes, tubules, of neurons. Test subject. Sylvain, I'm trusting you with my brain. You do good work, you do good work so hopefully that continues. Oh, oh, this is from Morgan Yu. This is from me. You do good work, so hopefully that continues. Listen, if the tests don't go well, if something happens, let Alex know that I know it wasn't his fault. I signed up for this. Also, if the tests drag on, consider moving your office down to Sim. Less hassle, and you can always move back after we celebrate our success. Yep, so I was definitely a willing subject in this. Oh, that's my office. Diagnostic check. Verbose. IFF. Nominal. Power load. Nominal. Actuator. Nominal. Tilt handling. Error. Please contact engineering. I don't have this password, right? No. Oop, sorry. I'll leave that there. Welcome back. This has been your home for the last three years. The video should be on your workstation. I changed my mind, I'm moving this. Although I doubt anything managed to get in my office. Right? Nothing in my office? Nah, I think I'm okay. Harriet College. Doctor of Science, Morgan Yu. Oh, I finally have a recycler I can use. Alright, I can get rid of all my garbage. Well, I'll mess with that in a minute. Wrench fabrication plan. Hmm? Raw materials. Keycard. Operator dispenser. What's that?
Fabricators can be used to create weapons, ammo, and other useful items. Hmm. So I can make that, but why would I want to? I already have one. It doesn't have durability or something, does it? Whoops. No, it doesn't look like it. It's the Morgan family. There's Alex. There's me, top right, I think. Glue can and ammo fabrication plant. Oh, that's going to be useful. I desperately need ammo. Weapon upgrade kit. Hmm. Tell me more. Use weapon kit, select the weapon you wish to upgrade in your inventory and press R. Then choose upgrade to select from any available upgrades. Some upgrades require advanced skills. Okay. Need sleep, chronic stress, or anxiety to schedule an appointment in the trauma center. Too far, too fast, one. In Kennedy's second term, the space race reached new heights and without his support may have sputtered completely. A succession of moon launches heralded the coming of an accelerated energetic space program both within the halls of government and in the public eye. Unusual at the time, especially in contrast to Kennedy's first term, rather than being simply a race between two powers, the Soviets and the United States seemed to be reaching out to space together. Rather than a race between two powers? I mean, I don't know that much about history, but I'm pretty sure it wasn't a collaboration. But uh, then again, I think this is an alternative history, isn't it? Three narrow mods? <gasps> I don't have the space, but that's beautiful. <laughs> is that my password? I got the plan you requested. It's in your safe. Hmm. This LGV file should clear things up. Make sure you're alone when you hit play. Well, let's look at that last. You made it. From January. I still don't know what happened. I put it, um, I put it behind me, but there's no reason we can't still be civil. You passed me in the hall today, and you looked through me. If you're angry at something I did, tell me, and we can talk about it. Pretending you don't even know who I am isn't going to help. We still have to work together. Morgan, as requested, your terminal logs are set to be automatically forwarded to your suite and crew quarters and the supplies from hardware sent up. Let me know if they get to you all right, and if not, I'll get it resolved. Like last week, I'll make sure you aren't disturbed in the interim. Let me know if there's anything else I can do. I'll hold down the fort outside your office. Hmm. I don't know when these were sent, but it sounds like... Between this and the one saying you passed by me as if you didn't even recognize me, it sounds... Almost like she sort of did the uh, experiment in secret. And at this point, she had had her memory erased or something? I don't know. Anyway, let's watch the video. Hello, Morgan. Tough day, right? If I'm talking to myself, it must be. Your memory shot full of holes, I know. I'm sorry, but it's permanent. So the first thing you need to know is you can trust January. It's an operator, a sort of backup of you and me. It knows what you've forgotten. We've been testing a new kind of neuromod based on the Typhon organisms, mapping their neural patterns onto ours. Problem is, 
when you uninstall a Neuromod, it resets your memory back to the moment you first put it in. That's why you forget. There's supposed to be a process that brings you back up to speed between test runs, but someone could just skip that part, turn a single day into your entire life. Well, that's exactly what Alex did. The question is, why? You're not going to like what I have to say next. Sorry, but I can't let you listen to that. Not until I've had a chance to explain everything in person. For now, just... Damn it. I have to go. Just sit tight. Please. Huh. Sorry, Morgan. Alex cut us off from the Looking Glass servers. Time to improvise. I suggest you search Dr. Calvino's workshop in the hardware labs. He invented the Looking Glass technology. You might find a way to restore the server connections there. I'm looking for another way to help you in the meantime. Good luck. Yes. So it sounds like... <laughs> Through a glass darkly. Looking Glass. It sounds like Morgan was a willing subject to a version of the test that she wasn't undergoing. I guess she agreed to a version of the test where she would be brought up to speed in between tests. But I guess Alex had something else in mind the whole time or eventually decided to change it? I don't know. I guess the kind of the point is when your memory's getting erased like that all the time, you really are at the mercy of whoever's feeding you information, because you just don't know. You don't remember. So if they want to abuse that fact, they can, and apparently Alex did. Alright, well, I think that's a pretty good place to end this episode. So, I hope you've enjoyed so far. And when I return, I'm gonna check out some of the machines around here, the recycler and stuff. And then, explore some more. <laughs>